could literally eat this out of the jar. Nutella. Just wake up. Whoa, too much rice. One second. Okay, so one handed is going to be impossible. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to episode three of my wedge shred slash fatless phase into my wedding. If you are brand new here, I am dieting for 15 weeks basically in the lead up to my wedding. Um, you can go back and watch my last few videos about how I'm setting up the diet, how I'm setting up my nutrition and training and all those things. And today I thought I will take you guys through a full day of eating and show you what that actually looks like putting all those groceries into action, into my actual wedge shred fat loss phase diet. Right now is Wednesday the 13th of September. Um, I started my fat loss phase on Monday the 4th, so it's only been about a week and a half. I'll do like a little bit of a physique sort of progress update for you guys. We did that in episode one, just to show like my starting point kind of thing. Like I've spoken about in some of these videos and especially on my podcast, if you don't listen to the podcast, eat like Ruby podcast. I don't have a massive fat loss goal. I'm not trying to lose a crazy amount of weight. I'm just trying to be super consistent, really enjoy my nutrition, really enjoy my training, and honestly just look and feel as good as I can in the lead up to my wedding. My starting weight, if you will, was 62.6. At the moment, it's sitting just over 62 i think about 62.2 is where it's sitting at the moment so it's come down a little bit but like i said i'm not doing anything crazy i feel like overall my kind of weight loss goal is going to be about two kilos so <laughs> we're not expecting any crazy drops week to week there i've been eating around 1900 calories i explained why and all of that in episode one so go back and watch that if you haven't I've been training so consistently. I'm so stoked with myself. I've been ticking off all those sessions that we showed you guys in week one. Everything is going quite good, quite enjoyable, quite consistent at the moment, which is awesome. A little bit different because I've done a few full day of eatings on YouTube in the past, but I feel like they've always been training days. So I've always spoken heavily about pre and post training nutrition and all of that. So today's gonna be a little bit different. I think I'm having about five meals it'll work out to be, um, but I'll take you guys through all of them. A lot of them are from my ebook simple meals or even from the sneak peek of the ebook. They're from the fat loss phase meal plans, all of the things. So if you're in Eat Like Ruby, you'll probably recognize so many of these meals. And if you like the look of the meals and you're not in Eat Like Ruby, maybe you should be. All right guys, so first meal of the day, is obviously my famous Eat Like Ruby bowl. So if you've been following Eat Like Ruby for a while, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. This was one of the meals from the very first example meal plan we gave the girls in the fat loss phase. And it pretty much went viral among the group. Like everybody just loved it. I eat this every day. I eat some variation of this every day. So even if you've watched previous full day of eating videos, you would have seen this before in some way. This exact version that I'm gonna make today is my new low key fave. All right, so we're starting with the Yoko. And this is something that was recently added to Simple Meals and to the sneak peek. So if you feel like you're like, I've got those things, but I don't, I haven't seen this meal, download the newest sneak peek in the comments and you will get it. So we added this recently because I was just loving it. And I was just like, we gotta get this in there. So first thing I do is just a little tub of Yoko. Scoop it all out, straight into the bowl. All right, and then next up, the actual mangoes. Crisscross it and then flip it out. Then I just pop it in the bowl and depending on the size of the mango, whatever, sometimes you can get a few slices, which is cool. But like I said, if you can't get a fresh one or you can't be bothered, you can just go frozen as well. And I always alternate between like fresh and frozen veg because it's just easy. Next step. Cereal, I'll go anywhere from sort of like 30 to 40 grams, depending on my day. So I've actually gone 45, I'm a bit of a rebel. So one of the most common questions I get is, how do I get the awesome Nutella drizzle across my Eat Like Ruby bowl? Secret, life hack, little mini saucepan. I just scoop out my Nutella. So about 20, between like 25 to 30 grams, I normally go. Straight into little saucepan. 
I'll show you guys. Okay, so one-handed is going to be impossible. All right, so I was not really able to film that because one hand, it just wasn't working. Give it a little mix. And like I said, it's not long at all. And then you're able to do those ones for this effect. So big favorite in the fat loss phase, big favorite in Eat Like Ruby, big favorite of my own. I'm gonna eat this now and then I'll be back. Thank you. All right guys, so my little like late morning snack, I guess we will call it, is a large skinny mocha. Love them from Macca's, they just taste so good. I also like to pair this sometimes with like a little snack on the side. So I've got one of my Nutella protein balls. It looks a little bit squished because it's traveled with me to McDonald's. Nutella protein balls. I feel like that's the definition of eat like Ruby, Nutella and protein. So I love them and they're super simple. I'm not even just saying that, but they are. They have like Nutella, protein powder, oats, and water. I actually think that's it. But I'll be back for lunch, kind of late lunches, and then obviously dinner, dessert, all of those things. All right, guys, I am back for kind of like late lunch vibes. I'm having eggs. Super easy. I think I've had this in most of my full day of eating videos. I have this wholemeal bread. Feta, I love this. A couple of mushies, they're kind of floating around here. Some relish in the fridge. I don't think we got that last week. Um, I've got some avocado as well. So pretty simple meal. I think this is in simple meals. Um, I think it's in the breakfast section. So this will be my like latest lunch. I think it's like two-ish, just after two. Um, next meal will be dinner and then I'll have dessert. But I'll show you guys this when it's whipped up. So just toast, avo, eggs, relish, spinach, mushrooms, feta. So I will have this now and then I will be back to show you guys my tea so soon. All right guys, I'm back, I'm having tea. I am having satay chicken. If you watched the grocery shop last week, you would have seen me get all the stuff for that. I pre-cooked my chicken. So I've got chicken out of the fridge or the freezer that I've already cooked. I go frozen veg, microwave, rice, and jar sauce. I personally love this brand and this flavor. It just tastes super nice. I'm a big fan of making things, like almost finding the sweet spot where things are simple and enjoyable, but also affordable, realistic. Like there's so many things we wanna factor in when we make a meal plan. And that's one thing that's been awesome from the girls in the fat loss phase. So many of them have said how affordable the meal plans are and the food so when they're following the meal plans that we provide when they do their grocery shop the food is realistic and affordable it's nothing crazy so i'm so stoked to hear that that's a big win for me because i don't want people to feel like they're running all over the countryside trying to get crazy fancy organic things and rare things and whatever i want it to be as realistic as possible i've just got chicken veg rice if you want all the specific brands or whatever you can have a look at last week's video where we shopped for all of this just put the sauce on in the middle and then i'll just microwave all that all right guys here it is satay chicken so simple so quick so easy so delicious i am going to have this now and then i'll be back for my final meal of the day which will be dessert but for dessert i'm having muscle nation casein custard double choc flavor. This is one of my favorites between this and the choc cherry. Those two are by far my absolute faves. You can use code Ruby when you buy them from Muscle Nation to get a bit of a discount, but I love to have these at night because they're just a good hit of protein and casein protein is like a slow digesting protein. So if you have it at night, it kind of keeps your protein stores up, I guess, a little bit overnight. Tonight, I'm gonna do one of those combos. So we've got double choc. I'm gonna go the Milo protein cereal because I've got some of that here. And then I'm gonna go fresh strawberries as well. So I've mixed up the casein custard. I go 40 grams of powder and then about 110 mils of water. And then I like to go 30 grams of cereal and then about 150 grams of strawberries. So this actually makes a really quite a big meal. Like when you look at this, it's pretty solid, it's pretty chunky. If you have a look at the calories, I think this is in like the low threes, like high two to low threes, like 300s, which is pretty cool for like quite a big bulky dessert. So 
I love that. I'll put the snippet on the screen like always, but this will be my final meal for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed my full day of eating. Like I've said probably a million times, so many of these meals are from my ebook Simple Meals and some of them are from the free sneak peek of Simple Meals. So if you want to download that, the link will be in the show notes and you can just have a little look through that before you buy the book. Obviously, if you haven't been watching the recent videos, you can go back and see our grocery shop videos. So all the groceries that I buy for my fat loss phase. I think the video before that we did setting up the fat loss phase. So if you're interested in all of this stuff, go back, binge watch, check out the Eat Like Ruby podcast. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to the pod because we are just here every week with all the updates, all of the things. And obviously I'm pretty much on Instagram every single day, eat underscore like underscore Ruby, more food, more meals, more updates, more Nutella snoring. <laughs> and we will be back next week guys with a workout video. So I'm going to take you guys through my current lower body like glute sesh, which will be really cool. So make sure you are subscribed so you can see that as soon as it drops next week for what will that be week four? I think of the wedge shred, time is flying, the wedding is coming.